We are back at Bryn Center and behind me here you see the e-tron 50. Yes, and today we will do probably the most important test with this car, which is the 1000 kilometer challenge. No one, no other reviewer does this except for me. <laughs> and you guys are eager to watch and see what's going on with this car, right? Because, you know, um, this is the, the cheap version of the e-tron. It has 71 kilowatt hour battery only, but it charges fairly fast. It peaks at 120 kilowatt. Hopefully we see that today. Uh, so what I want to find out is how well can I do it on long trips? In my book, it should do it quite well. So I, I suspect it to finish between 11 and 11 and a half hours. But the big brother, the e-tron 50, oh no, the e-tron 55, finished it during summer uh, in 10 hours and 20 minutes. But this winter now, we're gonna get lots of rain, so we have to add at least 15 minutes. Uh, so, you know, whatever result we see today, you can subtract 15 minutes for the summer result. But yeah, I'm charging it up back to 99%. Uh, it doesn't want to charge 100%. Getting ready. So, yeah, uh, you guys have seen this before, so I shouldn't uh, talk too much about it, but there's one thing, okay. We have to drive fast. Schnell, schnell, yes. So you see, I'm charging it up. Oh, come on, focus. Uh, and I'm going to drive to Ionity. Str oh, hang on, the screen is a bit. There we go, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to drive to Ionity, Strömstad, which is, here we go, 134 kilometers. But you're thinking, what? That's short? Yes, that's short because the consumption will be high. We have, the wind is blowing about this direction. So we get partly headwind all the way down to uh, Lødeköpinge. And this car is going to be really thirsty at proper highway speed. So, all right, we will leave at nine. Let's do the final preparations and then off we go. All right, we are on the move now. So, um, as expected, consumption is high. It's 270 watt hour per kilometer. Yes, and I haven't hit the 110 zone yet. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> as expected. The weather over here is nice though. Yes, let's enjoy it while we can because it's going to be really rainy around Halmstad. But that will be in about 400 kilometers from here. So, uh, I actually expect that I will only need four hours to go 400 kilometers. At least the four first hundred kilometers. And then, of course, of course, it will start going slightly slower. So, so far, so good. Uh, how are we looking? How are we cooking? Uh, 92 kilometers left. Yeah, Gom says 193. Gom is being a little bit optimistic. Yeah, Gom, Gom doesn't know that we're going to hammer it. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, anyway, yes, I'm just uh, cruising along now. Um, as an Audi driver, uh, you own the left lane, okay? The four rings you have in the grill uh, allows you to hug the left lane like a true German Audi driver. So even if I'm doing only 120 minus the, the slack, whatever, you know, I would just stay here, yes. We are now at uh, Strömstad. I was about to plug in here. This is the first time that I see this. The chargers are dead. Shit, man. What? I didn't check it. I always, you know, I always assume that they are operational. All of them are dead. Nine. And the problem is that I drove too fast. This is, this is not good. Uh, I have about, uh, I have 118 kilometers to the next charger. This is not good at all. There is no HBC around here. What? I have to figure out something. Okay, close this one. Shit, what the heck? How much range do I have? Ugh, I'm down to four. What the heck? Oh, this is the first time it happens. 
range low. What? I'm down to 84 kilometers. Ah, oh, this ruins the whole. No, what the heck? Yes, you want to take me home tonight. That's great. What the heck do we do? We lost some time here. Okay, we came here. Uh, let's say we came at 10. Okay, we have to subtract it. This is not fair that the Ionity chargers are bugging. Okay, you can say that a Tesla owners, they'd be like, Tesla fanboys, they'd be like, ah, that's not, ah, you have to, you have to count everything. Superchargers, they never fail. Okay, um, uh, I could, I could go to a 50 kilowatts fast charger, but we have to do something here, okay. All right, we're here at Tarnum. So, um, I figured out how to solve this, okay. So, let me see, this is going to be lots of numbers because first I thought about you know, restarting the trip from here, charge to 100% and redo it from here, but it's going to take extra time and we don't need to do that because uh, I will explain why. Okay, uh, I worked out that, you know, we arrived at 41% at Strömstad and uh, according to my calculation, we only need to charge for eight minutes there at the HPC to go to 65% and then that would be enough to go to Speckered, all right? You follow me so far? So we, we would have charged for, um, we would have charged for eight minutes roughly, eight to nine minutes, okay? And we lost 10 minutes over there, all right? Um, but we went here, I arrived with 21%, I'm charging now, it's going a little bit slower. These chargers doesn't seem to uh, output 125 amp. I suspect they only output about 110 amp. I've seen that in places. Um, so I calculated that, I need to charge here for uh, 29 minutes to go to Speckerud, okay? So that means this slow charging takes 20 more minutes than, than the high power charger, you know, the Ionity charger. And I lost 10 minutes filling around at Strömstad. So we can just subtract half an hour because I did drive as far as I could over here. So that's it, yes. <laughs> so we're still on track, subtract half an hour and we'll be good. Yeah. Okay, we're almost good to go. I calculated we need to we need 55%. <laughs> Look at this. Spot on my calculations. Like a ninja. I said we needed to be here 29 minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right, off we go then. Oh yes, we're on the road again. Yes. Enjoying the awesome Bang & Olufem sound system. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, here I'm playing it from USB by the way. Oh yeah, enjoying the ride. We are getting close to Speckerud and we have 11% left. Oh shit, I have to drop my speed. The consumption is ridiculously high. I'm, I've been averaging 350 watt hour per kilometer. So I have to drop my speed. I might have to drop my speed even more. But I didn't want to stay at the slow 50 kilowatt faster too long. So. Uh, come on, you see, GOM says 22 kilometer, and we have 18 kilometers left, so we might arrive with 2% or something. Oh no! Nine! We are 10% now! Oh no! Come on, don't die on me! I might have to draft behind some dude or whatever, but okay, I might lose a minute with this slow speed over here. Oh. Man, what is this? Schwer transport? <laughs> <laughs> we are almost at the fast charger. Look, suddenly the car just beeped at me. And then said limited performance. I have turtle mode. It occurred at 3%. So let's try to stay above 5%. And this is very scary, man. Like, I don't know how much power I have, but we're just crawling now. So let's get over to the charger. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I'm getting 125 kilowatt. I'm getting more than the specification. This one is supposed to go only to 120 kilowatt. <laughs> so this is the way to go. We have to arrive at 5% on every charging stop. <laughs> yes. So that's auto for the win. <laughs> so, so far we've done 250 something kilometers in, uh, ooh. Well, yeah, you guys see the average speed so far. And we're charging up, so, um, we're making good progress. So what else is it to say? Next one is wide bike, but we have to drive to Gothenburg. So I can expect that the consumption here won't be too crazy. Probably not much over 300, but I should still ride on the whatever uh, wave. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. 
Yeah, yeah, look at this. Damn, 127 kilowatt. What? What? Okay, look guys, this is a very nice feature with the Audi. Okay, we see we are pulling 124 kilowatt, all right? Now I'm going to switch on the, 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 the heater, okay? You have to do it like this. Okay, you see, we switch on the heater. Look, look, look over here. 124 kilowatt. But look over there. Oops, oops. That one is pulling 126 now. 127. That one is pulling 127, see? 128 almost. There, 128. But this one shows 124. So do you know what that means? It means that uh, the e-tron is doing a smart thing, just like the Model 3, which is that um, the, the HVAC takes pulls extra power from the from the charger. This is brilliant. Not many cars, what, am I not zoomed out? There, there. Not many cars does that. Um, almost all the other cars I know of, they will, it's kind of stupid because whatever, you know, whatever the car can maximally, maximum charge at, that's it, right? If, if, if let's say a, a Tesla or a Leaf, let's say a Leaf is charging at 45 kilowatt max. If you put on the heater, it will steal from that one afterwards. It's weird, right? <laughs> Even if a rapid gating leaf is charging at 20 kilowatt and then you have the heater in full blast and it t sucks five kilowatt, it will not suck 25 kilowatt from the charger. It will suck 20 kilowatt and then the battery is only getting 15 kilowatt. Yeah, but Audi, brilliant engineering, just like the, Ger no, the Germans, just like the Americans, yes. You know, I should say a few words about the sound system. So this car has the Bango Olufsen speaker system, sound system. It costs 12,000 nook extra, but it is definitely worth it. The audio here is superb. It's on the same level as uh, the Budmeister for uh, EQC. And, and of course the premium sound system in, uh, in the Tesla Model 3. So uh, I use the USB stick here with uncompressed uh, wave file. Uh, so, how should I describe it? The sound is super clear, good separation, good stereo picture, and uh, the bass is nice and firm, and it's not, it's linear, you know? It's, it doesn't have any weird uh, spikes, like, like, for example, what you find in the Koreans and in the Leaf. It kind of sounds a little bit boomy. This one is super tight and superb, so highly recommended. We are now at the Weiderberg juicing up. Look at that speed, man. Nice, like a boss. Oh, but the problem now is that um, we have to go 181 kilometer to Lodeshepping. There is no HPC or high power charger in between here, except for what um, Ionity. They're they are about to open one in Helsingborg, but you see that's pretty far away. So the best deal right now is actually to charge to about 90-95% and then take it a little bit easy over there. Yes, because stopping at a 50 kilowatt fast charger is kind of not worth it, um, I think. Okay, I haven't decided yet, but I'm pretty sure it's not worth it, the time. Yeah. So, okay, but it's charging fairly fast, so that's good. And uh, so far, average speed uh, is a about 95 kilometers per hour. So it's already dipping below 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, um, and look, look, by the way, temperature outside, eight, eight degrees Celsius. What the heck, eight degrees? We, we are in, in January. It's, it's the 14th, wait, was it the 14th or 15th? I don't remember now. Uh, it's the 15th of January. I could almost wear a t-shirt here. You see, this is a global warming. No, I, I think it's just a variation. This is a weird winter, this winter. So, um, yeah, but let's, let's have a look at the Bratwurstwagen again. So, 
so far so good. And it's not too bad for this uh, little brother, you know. He's, he's able to keep up, you know, 95 kilometers per hour on a long trip like this, so far. is okay, yes. So, um, wow, the car is full of schmutz. So, uh, you see now the, 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 you have the LED strip here. Yeah. So, yes, so far I say that if you consider it, well, okay, wait, wait for the, wait until the challenge finishes first, but so far, so good. Yeah. So I should have that music again and then have a B-roll here, yeah. Okay, we stayed here a little over half an hour and we are almost good to go already. So see, there's a little diff here. Uh, that one says 47, 48 kilowatt. And then the display here says 44. And the reason for that is that the display outside displays before losses. This one did, uh, is after the losses. There's a little bit of heat loss, plus that the HVAC is pulling about one kilowatt. Uh, but um, this is pretty good, man. We're getting 44 kilowatt. According to what I know about this charging curve, then we should leave at around 95, 96%. Yeah, and then take it a little bit easy. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, wait for it. It means that this charging stop will be about 35 minutes, roughly. Okay, we are on the move again. Uh, so I charged to 98%. Yeah, just to be sure. It was going fairly fast anyway. Didn't lose too much time. So now we are cruising at uh, 110, which is about, uh, I think about 107 kilometers per hour real speed. So um, the consumption is high right now, but it should stabilize. And I believe that we should be able to afford cruising at this speed right now. So yes, by, by cruising kind of slow, we will arrive about 15 minutes slower than if you know, we could hammer it. So it's the best um, compromise right now. So we are already down to 93%. Yes, wow, that, wow, that screen is full of schmutz. <laughs> oh, shit. German schmutz for the win. We are now at Lotte Schöpinge. Yes, look at this. Audi parking for the win. Let's do the music. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, so it's not raining here, which is good. I'm happy that it's not raining here. It was raining. Some places was raining pretty crazy, but over here it's nice. So, so far we have done 540 kilometers in six hours. So that's 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, the prediction so far is that I will finish this within 11 and a half hours. So it'll be almost an hour slower than the, than, um, than the e-tron 55. But keep in mind that this is winter. Yes, it's about 10 degrees Celsius here. 10 degrees here. What? Ugh. Okay. And Right, you guys want to see it? Yes, you want to see it? Thus, charging speed. It was hovering around... What is already 21%? We came here with 6% and we are already at 21% after 5 minutes or whatever. Yeah, so um, this is good. Uh, the only problem now is that I can't start this one. Whatever, it's so hot outside that we don't need the preheating. <laughs> Okay, you know what's good about electric mobility? People who drive them, they have to charge so often and they have to eat junk food while they're charging. So they will die out of cancer earlier than people who drive fossil cars. Yeah. And you know, overpopulation is the problem. That's, that's what makes the most CO2 emissions in the world. So yeah. All right, here it is. I went for the whooper. So let's dig in. Oh man, that was actually that was actually a good burger. Yes. So um, 
Anyway, I want to check out now. So we are almost at 90%. I fear that I will be at 95%. So we're still getting good charging speed. And we have been here for, okay, 32, 33 minutes. So we need to stay here maybe five more minutes. So it still pays off to, to charge at 50 kilowatts so we can go fast. Yeah, because it's going to be a long stretch back. But, but fortunately, if you look, um, so we're going in that direction. And if you look at the flags, you see that we're kind of hard to spot, but we have a little bit of tailwind on the return. So, yeah, hopefully we can go back at full speed. We are on the move again, heading back to uh, Norway. And um, it's now uh, 4.23 in the afternoon and we have some traffic. So you see that we are actually stuck behind traffic. Yeah, we can't go too fast. That's unfortunate, but that's the name of the game, right? So, um, yeah, I charged with 97%. It took uh, 42 minutes. So just to be sure, it was charging fairly fast anyway. So um, when I unplugged, it was still going at uh, 28 kilowatt. But I didn't stay on that 28 uh, or below 30 kilowatt too long. So it was like a minute. No big deal. Yeah. Now let's go back to wild bike. All right, we're getting close to Weilberg, but um, everything was looking fine. But then suddenly towards the end, it seems like the consumption, I mean, the, I lost energy faster than expected. Uh, I'm not sure why. So we're down to 7% and we still have 7.6 kilometers left. So I just, just as a precaution, I dropped my speed. It's not going to matter too much for the average speed anyway, but yeah. So uh, that's a bit weird. I just have to be aware that towards the end, the, the state of charge could drop a little bit faster than expected. So, but you see, we still have good average speed. 116 kilometers per hour on this leg is very good. So, all right, let's get over to wild bike and plug it in. Oh, we are now at. Uh, so, okay, wild bike. I don't feel like going out because it's it's raining, but uh, we are juicing up. So, uh, so far, 720 kilometers. Um, after eight and a half hours, damn. Okay, so if you look on that screen, we are getting 128, 127 kilowatt. Yes, and then if you look on this screen, um, we are getting 100, ooh, 127 kilowatt. That's like a boss. Oh, oh, yes, that's what you have to do. Arrive at 5%. <laughs> damn. Oh, yes, we are getting close to Gothenburg and uh, ooh, finally it stopped raining. It's been raining for the last few hours, but finally we escaped the rain. So um, yeah, it's now almost seven in the evening and we have done 780 kilometers. Yeah, okay. So far so good. But I have to say that this car is just so comfortable. The e-tron is so comfortable and so quiet. So, yeah, it's, um, how do I put this? I think it's a good, good car for the money, a good long rider. Just have, you just have to take a few extra charging stops, that's it. We are now at uh, Speckerud. Yo, Speckerud, 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 yeah. <laughs> So this will be the second to last charging stop. We only have Strömstad left. Yeah, so, so far we've been on the road for almost 10 hours. Yeah, average speed has dropped a little bit, but hopefully, you know, this is always like this. From here to Strömstad and from Strömstad back to Oslo, we can go fast. Yeah, and also I feel like we have a little bit of tailwind. So, um, this car is indeed thirsty, but it's also um, very, um, how to put this, it charges fast. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I still have to enjoy. Oh, it looks kind of clean now. Oh yes, roll the music.
Yeah, I like the white color, man. Well, technically, white is not a color, but it looks nice. What about the headlights? Okay, I put it on the park light thingy or whatever in the front here. So, yeah, the car has been clean now. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. But, uh, hmm, okay, you can see also over here, huh? you like that shit? You like that shit? I think it's a good looking car, except for the efficiency. Like, like what the heck is this, you know? What, what is this thing here? I could almost fist this, huh? see here? You should have, you know, I should have uh, put some, uh, some tape here, yes, duct tape this here. Maybe that will improve the efficiency by 5 or 10 watt per kilometer. <laughs> oh, okay, what are we getting now? So, business as usual, I'm getting 120 something kilowatt, yes. We stay here 5 minutes, we have to stay here maybe 10 more minutes and then off we go. Okay, this is it. This is the last charging stop, as always. Uh, according to trip meter, we need to drive another 25 kilometers. No, sorry, 55 kilometers. But we are already, it's been 11 hours and, no, 11 hours and 15 minutes now. And we need to charge here at least 15 minutes. And then we have to drive. What the heck? Are we even gonna make this within 12 hours? I was thinking in the low 11 something, but now it seems more like 12 hours. Oh, I'm not sure what went wrong because, you know, the car charges pretty fast, but I think the problem is that it uses too much energy. So, you know, it feels like I'm driving the, the Ford GT uh, 40 or whatever that. Oh, noisy fossil. You remember the Ford GT? Oh man, we need Tesla Semi. I have to shout so you guys can hear me. But the Ford GT was also constantly thirsty, just like this one. And it has to go stop and slurp in some electrons. So, all right, let's finish this. Okay, here comes the countdown. Don't need to count down. Okay, all right. 992, 993, 1,000 <laughs> kilometers. The time is 21 to oh, 11 hours and 55 minutes. Sip at Chimong Cup has Oh, shit. Okay, let's go to the fast charger. <laughs> oh. Whew, yes, finally here. At the Ayunti charger, that's that's Audi parking. Uh, actually, I was going to uh, record video here. I'm going to record a new charging session. I did it already yesterday, like two days ago, but I figured out that the battery was not far enough. So I will redo the whole test with proper high speeds, yes. So it's quite amazing that this car can actually charge 125 kilowatt by specification. Well, it actually peaks 127 kilowatt. By specification, it's only 120 kilowatt. Uh, as for the traveling speed, okay, it's slower than the, um, the, um, the well, many other cars. But keep in mind that it was raining a lot. Rain brings up the consumption. Yes, I don't have to, you know, prove that. I've shown you guys before. So it means that if, and also you have to also look at in that table, 
most other cars they were doing it in nice summer temperature nice and dry so if we did it this one in summer it would probably be half an hour faster especially it lost lots of time at that Lode shopping uh, uh, Vibag route you know so um, yeah so in summer I suspect this one to be 11 and a half maybe even 11 15 or whatever you know and that means uh, it's about one hour slower than the big brother yeah uh, so yeah should you get it well if you uh, if you don't want to pay too much for a neutron and you still want neutron <laughs> then just get it but the, you have to sacrifice a little bit of comfort so you have to charge more often or longer a little bit but if you don't travel too far too often then for me it feels just like a regular e-tron I've been testing earlier and this one this particular model here cost 630,000 nook and I've tested the other e-tron that cost 900,000 nook but I didn't feel that the other one was that much better you know so I think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always Thank you for watching and talk to you later.